All right, people, Catfish Dave here, a little Watts Bar Catfish Adventure. Uh, I'm gonna drag up the main channel up into a creek. We're gonna go in that creek and we're gonna come back down river using a secondary channel on the other side and just see where the fish are at. Uh, these fish can be anywhere in a reservoir. Sometimes the lower end's better, sometimes the middle's better, sometimes the upper end's better. These fish move every year, puts out something a little different. I haven't been to this section of Watts Bar since last year. Looks like I got some mild current of flowing. It's a uh, Sunday. I got a late start due to uh, bad staff at the Waffle House. Couldn't do nothing right or get my food out. When they did, it was ice cold and burnt. So either way, let's catch a catfish. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I've got a good five hours out here, plenty of bait. And uh, we're just gonna see what's up in this part of the reservoir. It is now uh, last week of March. It is spring, fish are starting to move, so water temps are still a little cold, but they're definitely moving. World record size skipjack. Got a white bass in there. Some more normal size skipjack. We should be covered. Starting out at the head of this 50 foot hole, and we're going to be working through a lot of shallower channel uh, water up into the 20 foot range and I've been doing quite good in that footage of water so I've been down to the Blue Springs area and uh, a couple years ago I was doing great down there I'm, I'm not seeing much down there so that's telling me the fish are north of there or south of there right now we are way north I'm gonna go slap dab up this channel the fish are moving so I didn't see nothing in the first creek that I launched out of, but one thing I've learned about that is just because they're not in one creek don't mean they're not absolutely stacked in another. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little of both. These big skipjacks are slap full of eggs. You can see all the eggs. I cut the guts out of them really large ones and end up getting one, two, three, four. I've got six of these steaks cut up plus the head all off one skipjack. Usually skipjacks give you about three baits. That one give me seven. The sun is to my back. That's nice. Give me a decent picture out here. And it's supposed to be a little windy, but not too bad today. And that's rare in March. Usually March, it's blowing you off the river. I'm gonna run head pieces on this blue rod right down the center. Dirty South, dragon weight. Clips on my three-way swivel. Couple feet. That's a hooker's terminal tackle, spook, Tennessee, walker, chartreuse, something. We'll run the heads on the middle, and we'll run the stakes on the two outside rods. I wanted to do some anchor fishing. I actually got up early and Waffle House took their sweet time. So we're doing the afternoon bite here. I wanted to anchor fish the first part of the day because that increases your odds of a flathead. But thanks to the Waffle House and the fact that I don't live close to these rivers I fish, well, we're here at one o'clock in the afternoon. If you cover plenty of water, you can still get on plenty of fish, slap dab in the middle of the afternoon. I do it every week. Big 10 aught circle hook. Let's 
sir. Some spread and planer boards to get these two outside rods away from the boat a little bit. Also cover more water. I can go ahead and get this coat off. It's pretty nice out here today already. We are officially catfishing. What we'll most likely encounter is areas of dead water and then areas of water with fish, then more dead water, then more fish. That's just how it works. They're scattered. If I get through a really hot area that produces good, I may go back through it, pull it multiple times. This is a combination of fishing while you're looking for fish. About 20 minutes into the drag, this fish was all the way in the center of the channel. It's not hooked real good. I'm going to net him. He was just banging at it when I reeled down on him. Hadn't had a chance to eat it good yet. Got mud all over its side. See the mud on his side there. Water temps are 60 degrees here. Quite a bit warmer than Fort Loudon. The reason I'm here, it's Sunday and uh, it's the last day of the Bassmaster Classic, so there's still quite a few boats out on this lake today. We started out in 50 and this channel keeps getting shallower on the way up. We caught that one in 38. I'm starting to see a lot more bait on my screen. Down towards that end where we started, I didn't see nothing. Here comes uh, Gilligan's Island. With Gilligan, the skipper too, the millionaire and his wife, the movie star.
right now I'm on the edge of the channel. That middle rod is at the bottom of the ledge. That planer board is kind of riding up on the ledge. That board is slap dab in the middle of the river. Some dude's firing a cannon over here. That board's done been hit twice. If that keeps going on, I'll get my boat right dead center of the channel. Another one, slap dab in the middle of the channel. I did get one bite over here off this ledge is why I've stuck where I'm at. Another fish with mud on him. Slowly picking them off, but we haven't found a hot fish zone yet. They're just scattered so far. These fish are tough to pull up in this current. This section of the reservoir has a lot more current than the lower end. Not as deep, not as wide. I have to drag this current much slower or it just picks my bait up off the bottom. And sometimes I got to double up or triple up on my dragon weights to get it to stay down once they really open up these dams. The guy's practicing for World War III, I guess. This one feels a little bit bigger than the first two. Well, he's not that much bigger. I guess it's all this current. There's quite a bit of current coming down the river.
they are liking that side of the channel over there. He is just a little heavier. And one thing I have noticed is uh, back in the winter, I got most of my fish on that middle rod. Since we've gotten into spring, I'm not hardly getting any fish on that middle rod. It's all on these planers. Haven't found the hot zone yet. Just picking off random scattered fish. That guy's wasted enough ammunition while I've been fishing this stretch of river for me to buy another boat with. That stuff ain't cheap. Pot belly muddy fish. Picking them off one by one. 40 to 41 foot, 38 foot, just running fairly deep. All right, y'all. Been out here about an hour. I'm going to eat me a piece of cheese. That fish made me spill my coffee. Yeah, they feel big in that current, but they're not. They all got a bunch of mud on them, I can tell you that. I believe this is five and four of them's come on the same rod. Middle rod's not getting touched. And that's the way it's been uh, last three or four times I've been out. I might get one or two fish out of 10 or 20, but they're mainly avoiding it. I don't know if it's the boat spooking them or what. I'm in 40 foot. In the winter time, that middle rod was getting 80% of the fish. Another muddy fish. We may be hung up. Come loose, come loose, come loose. Yay, it came loose. Y'all, we're not getting a single bite on a skipjack head, so uh, I'm gonna take it off. 
I'm going to put on a section of white bass. y'all these fish are running a little deeper we went through a dead section in about 30 foot getting back down into 36 this is the second time I've gotten hit once I got back into a little deeper water about the same size fish as we've been catching Uh, maybe a little smaller. Oh yeah. We're still going to try a creek. We're just about at that creek. Either way, covering water, we're slowly racking up numbers of fish. I don't know how you pick up spider webs out here in the middle of the river. It's on my line, it's on my net over here. These fish are all the same. They all got mud on them, they all got these little leeches all over them. Not the first bite on that center rod. come off there, but he turned around real quick. Coming back up towards the boat. Pulling over this 20 foot area, coming across this island. There's another one, got mud all over the side of them. Yeah, muddy old fish. Picking them off one by one. It ain't caught a single fish on that center rod. Alright y'all, we're going to pull this creek real quick, just the shallow part of it. Eat that thing. Hit it. Hit it.
we got one to eat a piece of white bass in this creek. Yeah. This is a male that is obviously working on a nest. He's a little scarred up all over the top of him. Skinny old fish, but you can see all the abrasion and stuff on top of him. They start preparing nests. It's going to be a while before they actually put anything in them. Water temp 65.8 in here, they spawn at 70, so. Hey, we caught a fish on the middle rod. Piece of white bass. going to get something of some size to it sometime today. Yeah, that's a better fish there. He's going right towards the center. So this boat down on running point eight. He ain't real big, but that's the first decent one we've got today. And he's up here shallow. He fought like he was big. Lighting is absolutely terrible in here because of this uh, sun behind this hill here. And that's my luck, the best fish of the day. We won't even see it hardly. Oh, I'm up there. Maybe the camera's focus a little bit on him. There's a Hey, for today, we'll take it. Been plagued with small fish all day. Up here working the shallows. Well, all right, y'all. I spent uh, most of the afternoon in the main channel just to see what happened, and we randomly picked off fish. And then I get in this creek and immediately start hooking up.
Even that fish is better than anything we got in the channel. If I'd been in this creek all day, I'd probably wore them out. in the creek. Ain't been in here in no time. Bottom line, people, uh, simply by covering water in the springtime, I didn't know where to go, really. I haven't been on this upper end of the reservoir here in, since last year, but by the end of the day, we got some numbers of fish. Covering water. Cover water, find out where they're at. There is a hot zone. And I believe we just found it right here because we ain't been in here uh, 10 minutes and already got three fish, so. I can't even leave this place. They're full in this creek. Don't even let me reel in to leave. We found the hot zone. 